the other oh, side. Oh, no. Uh, that... For Nate? That is a min... Well, that is Pack Diesel. For Nate, it's his son. Oh, oh. And oh. he's playing Gino. And he is up against... A snake. Ocelot. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ocelot recently taking out his brother, Isahel. Okay. And this will be a projectile match for Yeah, we're going to sure. be here for a minute. Oh, my God. <laughs> I like that Snake's just like, I don't want to deal with your projectiles. I'm immediately coming in and kicking you <laughs> in the face. So just wanted to point out that while I was watching uh, Pete Smith build at the uh, Geno, this has Reflector, not the Absorber. This has Reflector and not Absorber. Very okay. important for this matchup. Thank you, I production. Would agree. Does he also have a dash attack? Okay, oh, good. Wow. Fantastic advice. They both have good dash attacks, actually. Yeah, he has a reflector and a dash attack. Okay. So we have a grand total of, wait, wait, we have more percent on the board now. We're at 80%, about a minute in. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I see missiles. I don't see any grenades, which is surprising. It's an interesting choice. Um, I think even with the reflector, you still want to throw grenades because regardless of if it gets reflected or not, it still hits both characters, right? Sure. So I, I do really actually like this game plan of keep Snake away from me, right? Right. Like, I, I recognize that this is me Gunner, and this is what me Gunner does, is right. guns. But also, uh, Snake's limbs hit. Oh, OK. I'm sorry, production, production has, a, has a correction. That is Absorber and not Reflector. So he told you he has a downbeat, but he doesn't have the downbeat he told you. And I think I think uh, Absorber is probably the correct choice in this matchup. Yeah. Because um, it it will not uh, like you'll still get hit by the grenade hit and the missile hit, but right. then you'll heal from the explosion. Right. Which that's gonna take it. Yeah. That's the first key. stock. But he did have to get up to like 150, 160 to actually take that stock, and he can't be doing that the entire set because well, eventually Snake's gonna catch up here. On the other, you can if you are constantly healing that little bit every yeah. on every stray hit to make up that difference, right? Yeah. It also helps if you're doing 100 percent for every 10 percent you take. That is really nice, huh? It's piling up too. I'm so bad for this one. All right. So since you're an expert in this game and an expert in snake game, oh, play, absolutely. This is um, all I talk about ever at home. What would you do? in this matchup if you were a snake. What tools do you think? I would throw a grenade. Like, please just what? throw a grenade. Even if, he, even if he uses Reflector, he has to commit to Reflector, so. And, and I, I don't disagree. It. I think that grenade is such a strong zoning tool. Yeah. Just, just to create, like, areas that you don't want to be in. And it, how much percent does it do on a, a like, non-explosion I believe it's hit? 11. Well, like, just, like, chucking it? Yes. I think it's, like, just below 10, or it might be at 10. It also does not stale. Right, that's huge. That's huge just to rack up those stray hits. Right. You cannot stop every grenade from getting through. No one can. Right, exactly. And for this situation, you still have a mix-up to where you have to bait around it. Like right there. Right. That is all he needed. Bait the reflector and do something from it. And I think that in the long run, you'll do more damage than you absorb. The one thing I'm not disagreeing, not agreeing with at all is like he's attempts to go off stage. Like yes, he does not have the upbe with a hitbox, but at the same time, he was not far off stage at all. Just give us some time, you know? Yeah. But I mean, everybody wants to spike pack people. I mean, true. True. Just for the Twitch clip alone. Put him on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> So I, I agree from it, maybe not from a gameplay standpoint, but from a moral standpoint. Yeah. Speaking of morals, that's a two-stop from Pack Diesel. That has got to feel good. Yeah, well done. He's very excited about this bracket. I know this. I, uh, uh, Pete, Pete thinks that he could go all the way. All the way? All the way. If I saw was right here, I would. I wonder what would be happening. This is just a very he's, odd he's, bracket path altogether. He's beaten Ice of Hell before. OK. And. This would be uh, Pete versus Ice Hell, but Ice Hell's been knocked the loser. Yeah. So I I would feel pretty good if I were Pete right now. Right. Yeah. If uh, Pete takes this, will this be two upsets in a row? Huh. Wait, we got a hand up? Yep, okay, we're good. Do you know the lore behind uh, Pete's me name? No. 
the the heart uh, exclamation point series of things. The only thing I can imagine is that that's the language that Gino uses when he first appears. That is Gino's real name in his language. Correct. I knew it. <laughs> Actually. I feel kind of proud for that one. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you ever want deep uh, JRPG lore, talk to Pack Diesel. Yeah. Especially this particular game, Mario RPG. Oh, yeah. I like the crawl there. That was a very nice touch to get for underneath the projectiles that Miga are throwing out. I agree. I'm glad that Asala is still trying new things in the second game. He realized that, well, game one did not go well. I got to try something different to get in, and call is going to be what gets him in, and so be it. I also like this stage choice. Um, I mean, it's not too different from uh, Pokemon Stadium, but... It's smaller, though. It is smaller, which is my point, is there's less room to get away, like, for, for me, Gunner, to make, make that journey towards him that much harder. Right. He has, like... That was a good setup. Yeah. No, this is looking very good from Ocelot. I think a lot of smart choices are being made. Okay. Oh. going to take it. And he baited the spot dodge with forward tail. But meanwhile, Ocelot trying to get a double kill one on himself, too. <laughs> maybe not trying to. <laughs> maybe, maybe accidentally succeeded. Intentionally unintentional. Oh, that's so much damage. Oh, that move. That's gross. Episode 10 it hits. Like, I out. expected down air to do that much damage on Yoshi, where it like has since uh, uh, like the first match. But why does Snake also get a flutter kick? Yeah, I don't know. It's not even a flutter kick. It's literally him and a stairmaster. <laughs> <laughs> but well, he has like two of those moves, right? Because Darren and Fair both had that like same effect of like, oh, this can't possibly do that much damage, and then like 50% later. Well, he's got to turn up that butt somehow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> This that is my own stream, I can say that. You're about, to, you're about to have to kick yourself off your own stream. I am, I am. Production, if I ever get too raunchy, please remove <laughs> me immediately. A little bit of spaghetti going back and forth here. Can't you actually get the zone down here, and we're just going to keep on seeing this until Ocelot gets in. Yeah, but Ocelot does seem to be more aware of the pattern. Like, I saw him ducking and weaving underneath those missiles. Right. Okay. After yeah. Do it. The zoning exploding man also has very, very good boxing tools. No way in this game. This was probably one of the characters that frustrated me the most when I played Captain Falcon. <laughs> because I felt like his, like, melee attacks, just, like, one-for-one one excellent combo game, are just, yes. like, they outshine Falcon across the board. Yes, they do. Very, very frustrating, but... He has his own weaknesses, and Pack is exploring it right now. Uh, he's got to exploit them a little harder, though, in order to, like, make right. up the skull. We we are seeing the, what we were talking about earlier, where uh, Snake is really trading damage and winning each damage trade right. at every single interaction. And that adds up over the course of a game. Look, that's going to take the stock, though. Yeah, the well. 66 percent's not a whole lot here. It's about maybe, eh... Uh, I don't know. It's close-ish to up till percents. Yes. Like and yet, forty-six percent immediately. Like, I don't. Has Pack even gotten hit this stock yet? Oh, he uh, just got hit. But, <laughs> <laughs> that was hyperbole, but I do mean he's taken very little damage. Right. Yeah. Like that's especially right there too, because even the up smash at ledge goes completely unpunished. Sure. This does not look like Pack's game, and now he's basically about to close it out. There it is, too. Yeah, that's One it. One back air. And he took a grenade for it, but when you win the game, not so much of a You can it. have it. Consolation prize. <laughs> Here you go. You win, but have a grenade. <laughs> well done. Well played by Pack. Right. Really fun set to watch. Yeah. I'm enjoying this more than I thought. Who would have thunk doing this with friends is fun? I know. I know. And I couldn't ask for a better partner. Oh. He's so sweet. Yeah. I'm awful at this. I don't know why he's saying that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I mean, I'm not much better, so no. I apologize to every viewer out there. I think it's just like the tr trash come out of trash is. <laughs> not trash. Who would have thunk? Um, double negative. Wait, double negative. That's what it is. That's what it is. Uh, okay. Okay. I'm, try I'm trying to make this a positive experience for everybody. Positive experience. Yes. Okay. We're very good commentators. Very good. <laughs> the best. Okay. So speaking of good, we have good players coming up next. I don't Do know we? who they are, but well, it's Runner Sides. They have to be good players, right? Who who is it? I don't know. 